Uh, and this is called Inconvenient Truth. It really bothers me when my friends say that I'm not black. Not because it's something I strive for necessarily or something I, a waypoint to an ideology I die for, but more so, how do you know? By what criteria is such a pronouncement made? Is, is it my shoes? Or maybe my pants? The fact that my pants sound sag, my lack of apparent swag, the absence of accents, the usage of correct tense. What makes someone black? Is it, I don't know, dance moves? Or maybe fried fruits? Absolute distaste for rock, or perhaps it's lack of intelligent thought. And knowledge and actions based on a dominant culture of greto bread, rap fed, capitalistic mental that walks away potential, that locks it in a box along with nine mills, trees, greed, and crack rocks, and non differential cells and self and false identity construction. I'm not down with the streets or up to no good. My hood's filled with middle class families that work hard for what little they really own behind desks and work sites and lunch meetings. But because of my kin, my skin, I am akin to the ones who don't know me. And I am defining the me that I see, past the fault lines of racial stereotypes and identity theory. The subliminal thoughts sit in your brain and rot away the true image of African Americanism. So I'm dropping bombs like terrorism, destroying worldviews, reclaiming it for the abuse. No need for the past is a jihad to last like Iranian Israeli nuclear blast. I'm a middle class iconoclast, a dissatisfied, disenfranchised youth living in the stars of paradise lost. A modern day Dante weaving the narrative compared to the true story of this purgatory. So I say, race is just a social contract of a bigoted imagination, old views set by old dudes, and new reparations and emancipation didn't make us a free nation because of segregation comes degradation, and linear calculations of abilities based on things unseen, ones with no meaning, not the daily routine, but are her eyes green? Is anyone in a red shirt can front like a blood, and any punk bitch with a gun can bust slugs? Black hands don't mean I sell drugs, and merely I don't tan as easily in the sand. But even though I've met most of you here today, we're not the same, some would say, but I say this. Inconvenient truth long hidden behind the veils and the lies, the sensationalized thug life, the long covered social strife, so I won't care anymore. This way I have more, this fell residue of a 600 years war, so here too for I speak, so you will know that Jim Crow didn't end with Linden, that racism breeds and feeds, and the false truths of MTV, BET, VH1, MP3s. I'm not black like you want, to meet, want me to be, like Jenner, Corrupt, Nas, and Biggie. I am simply me. But that doesn't mean change your words, no. It means change your thoughts, change your verbs, the verbs that you live, the verbs that are alive, the verbs that are alive in your habits, that are habituated in ways related to those of another race, of a different face, or melanin count, whatever. Black, brown, yellow, red, or white. We are people, first and foremost. Yes, you heard me right. And that's the daily dose, the inconvenient, the none too lenient, the yeah, I mean it, truth.